and Mindanao. Welcome to the CSS News. Today is August 7, preserving you a hottest and most leading news of the history. This is your author, Martar Arcantara. And I'm JB Arizapa. Your, your news, news is our news. Parts of Metro Manila, such as Makati and Mandaluyo, are healthier than this one. Our records also show that today volcanic eruptions were than Cebu and Crescent Province, where some coal plants are located. For more information, here is Francis Rose San Luis reporting live. Started at 3 a.m. until now at 7 p.m. still continues to produce ashes. Some of our beloved government gave donations such as clothes, face mask, diaper, emergency kit, and especially food, and also money worth 5,000 pesos every farm. People with asthma, lung and heart disease, as well as the elderly, pregnant, and children are among those sensitive to such ill effects of bog. For those who are suffering this situation, we encourage all of you to protect yourselves by covering your nose, drinking plenty of water, and don't go outside and especially seek medical attention. This is Francine Rose and is reporting for CSS News, back to studio. Miss Filipina Catrona Gray was crowned as Miss Universe 2018 at the recent 67 Miss Universe at the Impact Arena in Bangkok, Thailand. Here is John Gabriel Bertil for more details. The Philippines for Miss Universes with Katerona Gray, who was crowned in Bangkok, Thailand. 24 years old, Filipino Australian Katerona Gray fought 93 candidates of the Miss Universe to get the coveted beauty title. The tension of cheering changes. Every time candidate was called, she was noticeable in her swimwear. Show her advocacy in the question and answer portion and amazingly unforgettable because of her signature. Lava Walk paired with her dazzling Miss Philippines Lava Gown. This is Gabriel Barutil reporting for CSS News. Cell phone addiction is one of the big problems that people are encountering today. Hmm. Why? Let's find out. Cell phone is a wireless telephone using system of low power radio transmitter with each transmitter covering a distinct geographical area and computer equipment to switch a call from one area to another, thus enabling broadsky portable phone service. It was created in 1973 and it's so popular until now. It is possible to download entertainment application but young people today are no longer they are abusing it and use it until they get bored. There are others use it while charging because they so amused to use it. That's why others get physical pain, not eating at the right time, having anxiety, and other negative effects. One of the most applications they use are Facebook, Mobile Legends, Call of Duty Mobile, TikTok, and more. So I remind viewers not to get so busy using cell phones so that you can have a good time and happy time on your family. Have control and enjoy it but never tolerate addiction. There will be new lawyer in the Philippines for more than 8,000 of October by XMD. And only 1,800 of them. Here is President Rosan Wies for more details. Various emotions are overflowing in front of the Supreme Court building. Some are crying, some are shouting and jumping for joy. One of those who passed was the working student Leandro Manabat, who hugged his parents. They always say that they are confident that their child will pass because of its sacrifices. But we have a saying that to win one is to lose. Because of the more than 8,000 who took the exam, only 1,800 passed. In the top 10 of bar passers, 3 from Ateneo de Manila, 4 from the University of San Carlos, 2 from the University of the Philippines, and 1 from the De La Salle University. And the top notcher is Sean James Borja from Ateneo de Manila. This is Francine Rosa Luis reporting for CSS. On November 29, the 26 years old co boatling athlete announced on his Facebook account that he would still represent the Philippines in future contests. Why I do this? I want to win for Philippines and to show world what we can do. I want to win for us. 
EJ Obiena is now waiting for the official statement of the Philippine Sport Commission on what's legal take on the current issue that has happened. Mother chickens have been missing that are pregnant mother before. That's why the female chicken are called mother hens because they talk to their young eggs before they hatch. A simple to from here is back to you. CSS Network, you can now watch the return of John Lee Chris and Karin Sulhayan is here to share this news. JL is back after 5 years of being loose in showbiz. We can remember that Kuya Will first mentioned a tennis overhauling program. He said that they had a serious conversation with John Lloyd when he visited his resort in Puerto Galera. John Lloyd said that he was burned out of showbiz life so he thought of taking a break first. John Lloyd became unfamiliar with the public but he surprised everyone when it released a video indicating his return to showbiz. This June, John Lloyd will be seen with Kuya Will in a great event for a shopping up. This is Karel Isol Hayam, your showbiz reporter. I'm Kid Willamil giving you the latest and newest weather updates. As you can see, the tropical star waters already made a landfall in Nassau Port. As of Pagasa statement, it is moving up to 45 km per hour northeast while maintaining its trend up to 70 km per hour. There will be a high chance of thunderstorm in the southern part of Luzon, including Batangas, Calamba, and Rizal. As for tomorrow, there is no heat chance, so it's advisable to stay at home. Again, I am Kit Willemel. Your safety is our priority.